start. Okay, running. We have started. This is the last uh, real-time simulation after a long series of uh, validations that we have carried out in uh, CESAR 1 and CESAR 2020, focusing on the I4D CTA concept coupled with extended AIMAN. So here I'm monitoring if the AIMAN, the Maestro system, is uh, making an adequate uh, order on the traffic where we have it in this situation here two aircrafts very close to each other, which has to be separated and, and uh, coming into the Stockholm TMA area in a predictable and both, of course, safe and order that is feasible for the downstream sectors in Stockholm TMA as well. The difference now is that we have a higher density and complexity of the traffic in this validation, so we are testing the limits of the concept. We're also focusing more on uh, human performance and safety in terms of the controllers. So we try to analyze how the controllers experiment this new concept. The main objective for this validation is to see how the operating method described in CSR1 are feasible in high density, high complexity on uh, environment airspace and that in combination with three uh, extra extended AMAN flows that we are uh, working with both time to lose, time to gain and CTA uh, methods. So more or less we have four aircraft in the same area, three to Arlanda, one to Bromma and uh, three on CTA. That's a challenging situation. Mm. The CTA co concept is a bit flexible in that sense that uh, the controllers can still uh, stop a descend, they can descend early, they can make turns, and in that case they use the retain RTA uh, phrase, and the aircraft will uh, do the turn and then go back to the CTA. 2020 retain RTA. Oh. <laughs> Great. Rhino 6411, right by 10, retain RTA. This validation includes two different uh, route sectors and uh, four uh, independent extended aim and horizons and flows into those four different uh, TMAs. Uh, in the flows we have both time to lose, time to gain aircraft and uh, I4D aircraft, so around 45% are I4D equipped and are able to do the CTA arrival procedures. One thing that is important to underline is the very good cooperation with our Copans partners. So we are cooperating with uh, Navier, who are uh, delivering uh, controllers and also pilots, pseudo pilots, and Croatia Control. Uh, we have one controller from Croatia Control and three pilots that also come from uh, Croatia. I would like also to mention the good cooperation with our project partners, Thales Air Systems, who are developing the extended AMAN, Thales Avionics, who developed the flight simulator that I mentioned previously, and Airbus, who are helping us analyze the aircraft behavior. Okay, guys. Thank you very much.